Greetings, and this week we've been taking time just to talk about God and creation and the existence of a creator. And I want to conclude this week by asking this question, you know, can science explain everything? Now, first of all, there is this wrong notion that if you're a believer, you can't be a scientist, and that's not true. There are many believers in God and in the Bible who are great scientists. In fact, if you look at the previous hundred years, that is 1900 to the end of 2000, a study was done and the report recognized that uh, over 60% of those who won the Nobel Prize were actually Christians in faith. In some disciplines, there were 70% of Christians who won the prize. So it's a wrong notion to think that if you are a Christian or a believer, you can't be a scientist. And yet we know that science cannot explain everything. You see, science can tell us what is there, but cannot answer the question, why and how? Science tells us there is gravity. Gravity is a force, tells us what it is and what it can be used for. But why is it there? And how did it come from? Or where did it come from? How did it just come into this universe? Can't explain, but it's there. And so science can tell us many things that it are there, but who put it there? How did it come into existence and why? Is a question, are questions that cannot be answered. And then there are these greater questions that everyone looks for about the origin of life. Where did we come from? Identity, who are we? Meaning, why are we here? Questions on morality, how should we live? And questions on destiny, where are we going? Science doesn't answer these questions, but yet these are very important questions that all of us ask. And we can't just push them aside. So, you know, atheists tell us, speak about us as Christians and say, well, you just have just made a leap of faith and you just believe there is a God and believe the Bible. But equally so for the atheists, and I'm talking about the scientific atheists, that they too have made a leap of faith. And they too have their own atheistic philosophy that they subscribe to. That includes a leap of faith. So they too have scientific theories which they embrace. It's a leap of faith. And not all scientific theories have been proven or established, but they believe it. So If God does exist, then atheism is a grand delusion. It's an escape from the reality of a creator, uh, trying to avoid the truth that there is life beyond this life. And we must stand in judgment before God. In the same way, they, an atheist would accuse us that if God doesn't exist, then we are deluded. But I want to leave you with these thoughts. You know, Stephen Hawking famously said, there is no heaven nor afterlife. That is a fairy story for people afraid of the dark. And John Lennox, a Christian scientist, a believer, responded, atheism is a fairy story for people afraid of the light. So if atheism is a leap of faith, and if we are accused of a leap of faith, well, something is more believable. The reality of God, His creation, His design, His intelligence, His invisible attributes revealed to us in the amazing universe and creation all around us, tells us there is a God, we can't deny Him. 
Let's pray. Lord, by faith, we believe. And your word tells us, Lord, that he who comes to you must believe that you exist. And we believe. We worship you. We honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.